action. Hi, this is me. <laughs> you know who I am. Um, this is my office. And if you come in here, please always knock. See my sign? Because I might have drawers open. I might be turned around in my chair. You'll knock me over <laughs> or hit me and I will not be happy. Okay, so sort of wait for an answer. Wait just a little while and then open the door slowly. And here it is, this is my box. <laughs> okay, and the cabinets are behind the door, right here. So let's start with this one since we're in here already. This is the, the gray cabinet. There's really nothing up here, just my glasses, personal stuff. Just stuff that I use, extras. This is the drawer, the third one down, where it says day sheets. You'll see various forms here that you might need in case Jill asks you or a parent comes in, permission slips, medication forms. And the day sheets that are filled out here from previous days or weeks or months are in here. The blank ones, in case I'm not here for some reason, are right behind it. The day sheets that are already filled out must never, ever, ever be removed from the office, ever. No excuses, unless Van comes to get them or Jill comes to get them. The other drawers are just extra stuff that I have, baggies that I need for the children. Sometimes I give them candy, things like that. The last drawer, Becky keeps her calculator in there and uh, just extra folders, things like that. The cabinet next to the gray one are the files. And on the side, if for instance, Jill has a, needs a packet for new students, they're also in here, but it's labeled. It says information packets. Okay, and these files also should never be removed. And if someone does, please put it on a sticky note and put on the sticky note who took it, the date, so that you are, you make sure that they, they are returned. And when they are returned, then throw the sticky note away. Second drawer is the cash box. This cash box is always to be locked all the time. And here are also for the clients, they're spending. And there's a Ziploc bag, like so, with the client's name on the front and the back. Because usually when they come, you have to act fast and that way you don't have to look for the name. Inside the bag is an envelope, also with the client's name, front and back, so you don't get it mixed up. The money, that they might need is in the envelope. Rece the receipts are also there. Make sure that when they come back, the receipt always goes in here and the change that they brought back. Now, when they come back, make sure that you take the key for the van and the cash and the receipt. And even if you're in a hurry, always, always put it in here. Don't lay it down because you might forget who gave it to you, get the money mixed up, the change, drop it, or whatever. And the third drawer is the Red Book with the information in case therapist or Jill needs a phone number. The addresses are not in here usually, it's just the phone number, uh, medication information. That is kept in the third drawer. Also, in also in the third drawer is the medication administration for our love. Where do we keep our love's medicine? Our love's medicine is, thank you, Brittany, is also in the cash box. Let me show you. You take the key from, I'll show you later. And it's the small key. I usually don't take the cash box out because my office is so small <laughs> so i i just open it oh there is no right our love medicine in here <laughs> but it's usually kept here with the checks 
the other money or other things, extra things are underneath the black uh, container here for the cash box. Always, always this one. This is cash. Also receipts are in here. And when we run out of this cash, we need to inform Jill as soon as possible because it takes her a while to give us the money to go in here. Also, since I'm thinking of it, sometimes the clients are running low and therapists should fill out forms saying that they are low so that when the parents come in, they can, um, we can remind them that we need more money, spending money for outings and various things. Because if we don't, and the client is going out, say tomorrow or next week, and there's nothing in here, nobody's gonna be happy. <laughs> Nobody, okay? Um, let's see. This is my copy machine. Usually I don't make use it for anything other than once in a while occurrence reports, but usually those are made in the other office by the therapist. And when they make the copies of the occurrence report, they go in this box over here to be filed. I get the copy, the parent gets the original. They, the only thing that goes in here are things that are to be filed in the client's file. Not this one up here, this is for Becky. If you put it in the wrong box, I don't file every day. Therefore, Becky might need something and it's in the wrong box. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> what would we find in that filing? And in this is extra paper here. There's rubber bands here, but please don't hand them out. This is my collection. Your collection is over in the supply area by Jill's office. This is for me because I cannot leave my office and go get things way over there and leave the office unattended. This is for my use. All of this is for my use here. Um, here are extra forms. Actually, all of this is for me, except the paper and the copy machine. Okay, what about those drawers right there? And let me file this back. This is for our love. Make sure that when you give him the medication, you jot down on here the time and your signature. A lot of, a lot of times it's given, but a year from now, two years from now, or if we're asked about the records, you're not gonna come back in and say, oh yes, I gave it to him at so-and-so time. And always put it back after you fill that out. And at the end of the day, if you're not here, we should lock the filing cabinet by pushing it in. You push it in, but don't push it in during the day because then you have to look for the key and sometimes if you're in a hurry, it just takes a long time. So do not push this button in until the very end of the day. And we'll, we'll take care of that later. On the other side of my small box here <laughs> is my phone. We'll go into that later on another video. Uh, down here is just my food, food, more food. <laughs> and in the second drawer is where I keep the van keys. And um, Becky might come over sometime or van just to check the gas and things like that. The other drawers are just personal things that I use. Where could we find the receipt book? The receipt book is way down at the bottom and it's labeled receipt book. And it's usually right on the top. And to the left of the receipt book are extra envelopes that sometimes I put money in for the clients or the parents or things like that. Um, what would we find in these drawers? And these drawers, I just keep my cell phone and toiletries for me since I can't leave the area. I'm like stuck here. <laughs> and the rest is just personal stuff, things that I use. Again, these are not things for everyone to come and take because I cannot leave my area. Your supplies are kept elsewhere or in your bag or in your desk or wherever you keep it. These are my supplies, not to share. What about scissors um, and your ruler? Let's see, what else? Oh, also, oh, scissors are kept here. 
and the ruler, but I use them daily, so, so please do not come and take them again. Office people are strange about that, okay? You can ask Brittany, Stephanie, Becky, or Van how we all feel about that. Uh, anyway, um, because say for instance, if you borrow a ruler and I don't know who took it, I come in here later and I need it to do my day sheets or whatever I have to do, um, I can't go and look for it. I can't leave the office area to go look for it or remember who I gave it to or who has it or if they're going to return it today, five minutes or tomorrow or if they forgot. Oh, let's see. I think what that's it, think? Lucy. Uh, no. The walking. What do we do with the walkie at the end of the day? At the end of the day, the walkie is shut off. If it's not charged, make sure that you charge it. Also, another thing at the end of the day, the switch is down. Yes, we do not lock the lobby door at all no. when no one is here. This switch is to remain up at all times. At the end of the day, it must be down in the down position. If it's not, Becky will not be happy. She will have to walk all the way around the building to open the doors. Another thing, please don't forget again that the cash box is locked. And the switch is in. And then also before you leave, make sure the lobby is sort of picked up a little bit. And if you see a client using the washroom, please have the therapist check and clean up after them. It's really hard for me to keep it clean because the parents use it a lot. And, um, oh, make sure the newspaper is there in the mornings. In the evenings, you can recycle it. What else? Make sure the chairs are in the position that they're supposed to be in. Uh, also check the boxes for the clients, their mailboxes, just to keep track of what was picked up, what wasn't picked up. Uh, if Rachel H. has papers, where should we put them? Rachel H. has a file folder in the break room on the bulletin board labeled Rachel H. Um, let me see what else I have here. Uh, oh, if you have any questions or you want me to know something while I was gone or not here, please leave sticky notes. You can never leave enough information. I cannot this wall read. right here is pretty good yes. to leave stickies. I cannot read your mind. I don't know what went on when I wasn't here. Please don't assume that I know. Um, oh, also, when a parent mentions to you that a child's going to be picked up early or late or they're not going to be here, don't say, oh, okay, I'll tell someone. No, that is not the correct thing. I keep some here for my use, so I don't have to get up and get them out in the lobby, but these are kept out in the lobby. The change of schedule notice. Fill it out for them or give it to them to fill out and place it in the break room on the bulletin board so that we all know, not just you. You might be busy, you might forget to tell someone, and then we look stupid when the parent says, but I told you, or I told someone that little Johnny wasn't gonna be here. Again, I cannot read your mind. Um, Joe's busy. The office staff is busy. We don't know that un unless you fill this out and put it on the bulletin board in the break room. What about your chair? Oh, my chair is outside because we're making this crazy video. <laughs> Hi. And, um, and it doesn't fit in here. Okay. This is what my chair looks like. And... I keep this blanket here because I don't like it to make marks on the wall. It looks nasty when the parents look in here. Try and keep it neat. Please do not hang on my chair like so. Do not do this. It's not a recliner. It's not a bed. Because I have to straighten this out all the time. I've fallen off my chair three times because of that. <laughs> do not stand on the bar that's on the bottom. That has been broken and I do need it to get on it because I'm not very tall. Anyway, um, I think that's it. I think, oh no, one more thing, hold on. The day sheet for the next day is usually filled out and it's kept up here. Behind our extra, say for instance, just a blank one so you don't have to look for it in case something happens to this. But please do not have anything happen to it, Van will not be happy. And 
What if someone comes in for a tour? Where would we find the confidentiality forms? Again, those are in the drawer that I showed you back here. Do you keep any up here? In this drawer, but I keep extra in case you're crazy busy or Jo wants to just grab it herself. They're labeled up here at the top. And so are the vehicle forms that are kept outside my area. And also in the blue cabinet outside my area are extra occurrence reports and this half sheet that goes to the caregivers or parents. <laughs> They're kept over here. They're just extra. The others are kept by Jill's office. I just saw uh, it would be easier to keep some of these for me here. Okay. And here is Taryn. She is going to give me the key. This is an example of what you do after you're back from an outing. Yes. Not get it later, not have her put it on the desk. She's giving me change back, receipt, the keys. Uh-oh. <laughs> I dropped my nickel. Please also try not to make change. From this, we are not a bank. We don't want to get it mixed up, and one of the clients would be short money. All right, I think okay. that's it, Lucy. Say bye. Bye. Thank you. Any questions? Please leave notes on my desk.